All right, that's Evan Ronnie reporting this Saturday. Over a dozen high school and middle school teams will be facing off at the Rec Foundation's regional qualifying event for a chance at the National Drone Competition. Joining us live, CEO of Robolink and creator of the Education Drone, Hansel Hong, to tell us more about this weekend's competition. Uh, Wes Su, also coming uh, from Robolink. You're going to show us a demonstration here in, in a moment, but uh, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about this competition. How fun is this going to be? Yeah, so we're very excited to have this competition. There's about uh, 1,800 teams participating throughout the nation. Wow! And this weekend there will be uh, 28 team uh, local teams from San Diego participating. It. Uh, it's a little bit more special because this event we bring all of the uh, you know schools from. It's more about equity, and then students who can't really access sure. this easily. Where uh, it, these are hand-picked schools that oh, gotcha. that that were invited by uh, UCSD Create, uh, okay. which is a group for education and uh, inequity. Uh, so we are we're gonna be having a blast. A lot of them will be participating competition for the first time. Uh, so we're super excited about that's it. great. That's a, so a lot of time first timers maybe around drones here. So that's gonna be really cool. Uh, how does these competitions work? What are what are you trying to win? How do you win? Like uh, walk us through a competition. Yeah, there's uh, many different. Uh, there's like four different missions. Uh, there's like mission that uh, uh, requires uh, teamwork. So two teams participating together and okay. then collaborating together. There's a fully autonomous portion where students will be coding and then students don't touch any drone and then drone will be doing everything. Oh, interesting. Uh, and then there's also presentation and then there's a solo pilot mission. So there's a few different missions and yeah. then you combine all of those scores together uh, and then you potentially win the competition. A lot of uh, STEM-based technology here, right? Yeah, Science, technology, engineering, math. Um, these are what future engineers, future potentially even drone operators, right? I mean, there's there's a need for drone pilots out there. Yeah, we are hoping there will be a lot of future engineers, uh, future drone pilots. Um, but it's also for anyone who's just interested in technology. It's yeah. just such an integral part of our lives these totally. days. Totally. So even if you're not going to be an engineer or drone pilot, we highly recommend uh, people to participate. Yeah, I was just talking to you guys before. I, and Wes, go ahead and show us how this works. Yeah, we're, sure. we're interested in, in seeing this. Uh, these have come so far from the uh, many, many years ago when I first got, you know, we got some of these for my kids. They were not built very well. They'd blow away quickly. They were tough to fly. And now they're pinpoint, right? You can go pretty much anywhere with this and you know exactly where it's going to go. Wes, you've gotten pretty good at this over the years. How many years have you been flying drones? <laughs> Probably like seven years. Seven years? Uh, okay. Yeah. Can you talk to us about the technology and how it's advanced? Sure. Um, so there are seven sensors on board, and one of the things that's keeping it from drifting around is it's looking at the floor, it's checking the pattern below, and it's trying to make sure that it's keeping the same pattern. So wow, so it's looking at patterns now. Yeah. Okay. And then it's also just checking, like, gyrometer, how much it's tilting, and trying to keep it stable. It's self-correcting itself? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. And this one looks like it's pretty lightweight here. Is this, yeah. which one is this? Is this the ones the kids are going to be using? The, this, it's this called Codrone EDU. Codrone EDU. Is this something people can go out and buy? Yeah, uh, you can go on our website at robolink.com, uh, R-O-B-O-L-I-N-K.com, and then you can purchase from there as well. Okay, ages 12 plus. Yes. Okay. Um, so you were, you were saying that these have gotten so far, and mm -hmm. it's just, it, and that's how it makes the competition a little easier, tough, easier to navigate, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Some of the uh, the things you have to do in the competition is to code it to recognize the color that yeah. it landed on. Wow. Um, so it's using sensors to pick up color. So cool. A lot that's involved here. Yeah. Hey guys, is there a website people can go for the competition to learn more? Yeah, uh, you can go to robotevents.com. Okay. Um, so it's uh, R O B O T E V. ENTS.com. Perfect. Uh, and then yeah, there's a, a, a lot of competition for aerial drone competition. All right, good luck, guys. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back.